Hi, I'm Kathleen. And I'm Sean. And you're listening to the Dead Baby Bear Podcast. Dead Baby Bear. Ooh. Long story. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I don't want a Nissan Rogue anymore. I want a Lexus. <laughs> Rogue's not enough car for me. It's not enough. It's not enough is the for me and the When dogs. does the podcast start? Is it started now? Okay, started now. Sure. <laughs> I'll let Jim just decide. I'll be sweating. Welcome to the Red Lady Stare <laughs> podcast brought to you by the CHO and the Northern Queen. <laughs> oh, well. So you're buying a house. Not a home now, but eventually. You're, 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 you're a condo We actually owner. could, like, we actually left that bank yesterday being like, oh, we can actually do it. Like, because we walked in, like, there's one time we went to a financial advisor at Bank of Montreal, and she literally told us, no for everything and well at least you don't have cancer she said that wow. yeah well because some other people in that industry would be su- their 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 bitches and assholes right so like they well they yeah because that is a bitch they, asshole thing to say well what they would be doing is like okay how do i get these assets moved yeah and then they do the meeting and then you don't have any assets and they're like god damn it yeah that was the only lead i had this week and i've been like hoping that this Grinding fucking away. meeting would be good yeah and it turns out they got nothing <laughs> so like they're angry <laughs> Fuck them. they're angry at you so maybe for their own personal so she so showed a lot of personal restraint by saying well at least you don't have cancer least, that's horrible <laughs> it was really that's, bad that's it was a really horrible bad. thing but it's because she's a bitch and she's angry yeah that so we she's can't, not she's that we like, don't bring anything to the table yeah a financial advisor isn't like you know they're not like uh, how can i help kathleen they're like no. i wonder what assets i can move today yeah, and they then only you care about making money. Li- and you're like, what? I- what is the F in a TFSA? <laughs> and like, oh, uh, you know. And y- they're like, what do you got? And then you're like, I don't really have any, anything but debt. Yeah. And they're like, God damn it, fuck. What but we went to ATB and they day. were amazing. ATB. They, we should get them to sponsor the podcast. They're really about yeah. Alberta they things. They won't. I should just try. That'd be hilarious. They wouldn't be. They would well, never. Oh, it was funny because we're doing a show this weekend and. You know, I was t- uh, talking to somebody about it today, sort of, where it's like, you know, f- when comedians are like, why don't we make more money? And then it's like, well, go on a Facebook page for, like, a place that has live entertainment. Yeah. And take a look at how many likes and engagements and comments they get for fake ABBA. Oh, yeah, compared to, s- to, p- compared to stand-up. Or fake, like, so literally, like, fake singers. Yeah. Generate 20 times the engagement that a comedy show would. Like, and then, so I was looking at our, this week, there's, like, a bunch of fake singers and singers you've <laughs> never heard of that and have like a hundred likes and ours is like 16 <laughs> likes and then there's one comment and the comment is from some like obviously like redneck conservative guy yeah. that's like they're liberals oh god they're liberals and then no he said yeah he says something about like because he obviously was either was a fan of yours maybe or something because he mentioned you specifically like She's anti lock. She's uh, anti freedom rally. Uh, and it's like, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> who isn't? Like that actually boosts my. Um, Maybe he listened to one episode. I think of the I podcast. know who it is. Like, there's a dude oh, really? who like in Fort St. John. Yeah, he like. Well, he was from Dawson Creek, I think, but he followed me on Twitter, and I, he would always like tweet. Like, I tweeted something about COVID, and then he, then I found out. Oh, he's a crazy freedom trucker, whatever. <coughs> oh, but yeah, he was still working, and he was still vaccinated, and everything. So, oh, uh, whatever. But um, you could tell the kind of crowd he had because like it was a Trump, like it mm-hmm. his posts were Trump related. And oh then he yeah, had one I know. And sure. then he had one progressive one where it was like every child matters. But then there was like co- multiple comments. What's about the Facebook called? The Lido. Yeah, and then there was multiple comments on his every child matters post about how it was a distraction to take our minds off of COVID. <laughs> blah blah blah. Yeah. Well, we don't want people like that at the show. <laughs> I don't. No, that's why it's gonna be empty. That's why it's going to be up. <laughs> That's why nobody will be But I was in Dawson Creek. Was it Dawson Creek? Yeah. Yeah, last was week. Was it I fun? It was fun. And it was like a sold-out show, and, and you still had to be vaccinated to be there. Oh, really? Because okay. BC still has their vaccination card yeah. rule. Um, rules made in Vancouver. Yeah, and you're there next week. And they were smart because they were selling tickets to your show at that show. Like when people are in a good mood because they just saw good shows, we'll do it again. You should watch a different person. Yeah. And then they'll be like, oh, that wasn't as good. That d- wasn't. Oh as my good god, at the we time. are competing with ABBA Revisited. We are. And the Mountain Coolies Band. Many likes. Last Horse Standing, Rose Prairie Romance. Those are some good bands. I did a small town show last weekend, and they they had like an old 
photo of uh, a previous rodeo. <laughs> and I thought it was from the 1950s because there was a guy in a bubble. Remember the running of the Jews in uh, Borat? They, they had like a bull and a man in a bubble at this rodeo in the small town. Oh, this and guy. The bull He's still my friend. <laughs> this fucking loser is still my he hate this was what he said i'm sorry liberals dot 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 kathleen's fucked fked anti-freedom rally anti-conservative degrades women that like to dress how they want what the fuck is he talking about not much fuck i hate people so much oh yeah, my god i don't think he's making any sense there no not at all and the fact that he's still friends with me you are a fucking loser ben dylan <laughs> like why would you you hate me. Why are you still my <laughs> friend on Facebook? That drives me bananas. Like, are you policing yeah, it's me? Weird. Are you watching me? Yeah, I guess me? it is weird. I'm just going block. Oh, he's the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> Why? What does it say? That? Just that's what it says under his Facebook profile. Oh my God! Look at this fucking loser. He's look at this loser. Yeah. Terrible. He's what one of those. What uh, a fucking small dicked loser. Jesus. He's one of those look guys. Oh yeah. No. He looks like he wants freedom bad. Yeah, real bad. And he's a Trump. Yeah, what the fuck? fuck is this loser jesus it was kind of fun because i did a show at the comic strip where i was able to do like a f like i did a, one of the fake pretending to be a redneck guy characters yeah and it's kind of fun because like half the crowd it was enjoying it like n unironically like i was just like you know i fucking because i he introduced me as being on cbc and i was like i was never on cbc i fucking love freedom I absolutely fucking love it. How many people in here love it? Who li here loves freedom? Oh, my God. And then the crowd's like, half of them like, yeah. And I'm like, don't you hate these fucking guys with these tiny flags that are sticking out of their cars? It's like you t might as well bend over for Xi Jinping with your tiny fucking tyranny loving flags. So I just made it like a flag size issue of like, you got to have a fucking real. Like, that's one thing we could make legitimately is like making fun of like bumper stickers that make fun of their sad bumper stickers yeah well like who uses like bumper stickers idiots like oh yeah nobody uses bumper stickers anymore it, it ruins a car <laughs> but these guys will go ahead and put fuck trudeau all over their car which is the Some funniest of them still thing have the like giant canada flag with the hockey stick right yes I, I would be like annoyed if i had um fuck harper all over if i had his name all over my property that looks so stupid like the fact that they can't that they think they're being so badass by saying it, but like you don't understand, you literally put the name of the person that you hate on your personal property. Do you realize how insane that is? And Regardless if you're saying fuck that person or I love that person. And I don't really know how many of them understand that it's redirected anger from something else in your life, right? So you're, oh yeah. you're angry about a number of personal issues and you can't really vocalize it. Because they can you're, never you explain why they hate Trudeau. And that's why it's more men than women, right? Yeah. Because men don't know how to like, actually have an emotional real emotional yeah. response to something or growth emotional growth yeah so they get mad about something else in their life like their kid doesn't want them to take them to school anymore and they don't really have anywhere to put that anger yeah of like i used to take my kid to school and now he doesn't fucking want me there and they're, i don't know where to fucking put this anger and they're like trudeau you mother like it's just a place where they can just go and yeah. vent all the other anger they have in their lives it right? is Therapy should be free. Therapy yeah. should be free and mandatory. Because it doesn't matter. Like, I mean, most of the people that I know that are like fuck Trudeau people are also have like two skidoos and a hot tub. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> clearly you're fine. Like, clearly you're not. You're, fine. you're not struggling you're in doing this fine. life. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna be fine. Absolutely. But we're, we were doing better five years ago. What? Fuck two, off. Two, three percent. You know. Okay. Ma you got an extra. It's worth that much anger. Like at the end of the day, it comes down to like three. Yeah, you know, three or four thousand bucks. I used to make I used to make three or four thousand dollars more, more a year yeah. when Harper was the prime minister. It's so funny. So you're too, that covered in anger over like two or three thousand dollars. I don't have any politician that I like think about that is in my head on a daily basis. This man is literally in all these people's heads on a daily basis. All politicians are shit. Like, no, why are you even s cheering for any of these people? Yeah, I mean Trudeau's just a fucking weird pretty boy he's that like got through face. his life being the pretty guy well they keep saying oh he's a rich kid but what do you think everybody else that's every, high up in politician, politician they're all some super privileged person that has gotten like you can't be poor 
and be that successful your favorite in 10 hockey politics. players grew up with money yeah exactly all of your spo- just about all your sports heroes most stand-up comedians that are still grinding it out places that are like living and and stuff away from oh home. for yeah. sure have money like oh for sure yeah they d- and most stand-up comedians that succeed you look at it they have so much money john mulane mulaney has a ton of money what's the other guy on that show <laughs> that has a ton of money the other guy on weekend update what's his name don't know Anyway, he makes he's from a rich family. He went to Harvard. Conan O'Brien's rich family went to Harvard. Like it it helps to be rich in anything. You will get it, you will get ahead a little bit faster. But politics is like of course. It's just legacy families everywhere you look. Like relax. In British politics, in, in most you have to in most of the rest of the country. Yeah. They send all of the future politicians to one school because you know that these ones are gonna be it's just like it's all of it. Y- it doesn't matter what side you're on. It's all quite corrupt and privileged. Oh. But and I did like today when I saw that like the NDP and the Liberals kind of like let's work together. And I I was just I heard popping heads all over <laughs> Alberta. <laughs> in Alberta, like holy fuck, a socialist coalition. Yeah, exactly. So it's what? So funny. And and what I read sounds great. Free dental care for all Canadians. Like, we're like you know why what people. Yeah, I mean, at the like what people really hate about like when I went to England and you can sort of see, you know, when you do have like decades of sort of socialism in some way, like a left leaning or whatever, like the way that they have their city set up is like totally different than Canada or America, where there are poor people who live in the nice areas like we don't have that here. Like if there is a super awesome area, fucking get out of here. Poor yeah. people like you're gone. Um, but in England, they'll have like. A mansion right next to a condo unit, a low-income condo yeah, unit. Yeah. So every beautiful part of London or every beautiful part of England, right on the water, there will be a condo complex where yeah. 500 low-income families live next to a bunch of castles and stuff. So they always, like, carved out a little space for poor people to have. Yeah. Here we don't really do that. Here we're just like, if you're rich, you live near the water. Yeah. And if you're poor, you're inland. Get yeah. inland, you fucking Get inland, goof. you poor piece of shit. You shouldn't <laughs> yeah. see water in your yard unless it's a fucking bird feeder. Yeah, it is funny. All the people that like are talking about freedoms and stuff, they took off weeks from work to go and sit around Ottawa. Like I, like you said, I don't see a lot of those people struggling and to live. Some of them are the same people that I look online and they're like, well, you see, Russia invaded oh Ukraine because NATO infringement. It's like you can't even see the fucking difference between like it, these are the types of people where it's almost like if you told them, like, why is Russia invading Ukraine? And you said because they had such uh, strict COVID restrictions. They'd be like, all right. That makes sense to me. I guess you do have to raise her to the ground then. I guess you do have to fucking uh, have 10,000 refugees. You know who makes a lot of money during war and mass casualty events? <laughs> that people don't really think of? Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> think about how much fucking money that bitch makes. She probably does with her songs. up in the arm. Like, a zillion people in the arms of the angels. Yeah. Like fucking over. Like, s- her royalty checks. Are huge. When there's war or 9-11 and shit. Like, her royalty checks just fucking go through the roof. Like, <laughs> ten times normal. We should see if Sarah McLaughlin is asking for peace in the Ukraine or not. And then we know the real s- and answer. And we know really what's Because if she's out there being like, peace in Ukraine, then we'll, we'll be like, okay, well, maybe she's not making that much. Yeah. But if she's silent, it's like, oh, no, this she's bitch is making money. she's got a giant Z profile picture, <laughs> then you know that she likes cash. <laughs> when that happens or when dogs go missing her yeah in the arms of the angels <laughs> when she thought of that she must have been like i just made a fuck i just made 40 million dollars why do you think singers write songs that are like a good wedding song or a good graduation song like it's so smart because there's not that many graduation songs out there so when mm. that vitamin c wrote graduation song she wasn't being stupid and then all of a sudden, like, oh sh- yeah. I think she's a one-hit wonder, but who the fuck? I would love to be a one-hit wonder. No, Guess what the they are? Millionaires. And the first version was in the arms of your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, I'm not going to make any funeral money doing that. Far away from here. <laughs> <laughs> in the arms of your uncle. You know, nothing. No <laughs> funeral cash. Nothing. <laughs> go with angels. Then you get Christians and atheists <laughs> sort of fucking they'll yeah. go along with angels too. <laughs> atheists will go along with an angel. But the Ukrainians are insane. Like, you talk about a rebrand. Yeah. They were like pierogi weird dancers. Now eating like pierogies, cabbage rolls, borscht. Yeah. They, w- they were just known for doughy, fattening heart attacks. Yeah. And now it's like, these guys ain't going anywhere. They're badass. These guys are fucking insane. Yeah. 
They're like, crazier than Russians. <clears throat> Everyone's always like, you see those videos online. It's in Russia. It's in Russia. It's probably also in the Ukraine a bit, too. They're not scared. <clears throat> no, they are fucking, like, I saw a documentary. Well, you, did you see, the, were you the one that told me about that? The Winter on Fire one? No. Wait, uh, they, no. Yeah, so, like, you know, Russia will always have sort of a puppet regime in the Ukraine. The Ukraine has been independent since the early 90s. And uh, this guy was installed. Um, uh, and I think it was like, you know, Russia does a really good job of fake democracy. Yeah. Where it's like 80 percent and it's like, hey, I saw some stuff in the ballots. Or and it's like, ah. So everybody knows it's rigged. But this guy who was like pro Kremlin and was Putin's guy who was the president of the Ukraine. He was like, we're going to go join the European Union. Like, so that's how he got reelected is. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like, I'm different now. <laughs> but then when it came right down to it, it was like, yeah, we're not going to do that. So we just got elected and then said, no, we're not going to join the European Union. We're actually going to like keep doing exactly what Putin says. And then some students, like 10,000 students, um, were angry about it. So they demonstrated. And then the Ukrainian secret police came out and like beat the shit out of them with yeah. sticks and bloodied them and stuff. And then the next day, a million Ukrainians came out, like a million. Yeah. We're like, no, 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 fuck you. <laughs> like, you're not, and then they never left until the guy was gone. They <laughs> never fucking left the square. Like, people were getting shot, killed. They were like, you know, and they were unarmed. I think that we forget a lot that, like, in North America, w well, at least Canada and the U.S. for sure, we're all a bunch of pussies. Oh, run! Like, go yeah. over <clears throat> anywhere in Eastern Europe, Czech Republic, all those places. Like, it's people are very strong there. They're very tough. They're not afraid of everything. But definitely, like, if Canada was being bombed right now, <coughs> people wouldn't be running to join the army. People would be it's like, hard, yeah, it's hard where's to the bomb say, shelter like, in West Edmonton Mall, and how do I get into it? It's hard to say, like, if that's your history. Like, they grew up with stories of that, like, stories of courage and bravery yeah. and overcoming the Soviets. But I don't like, find, like, Canadians to be this, No, like, we don't have it like, in our, we don't really have it in our yeah, system. Yeah. We also no. don't need to have it because, uh, like, uh, like those are the countries that actually have yeah. issues with their freedom. Like, that's the thing. Like, how many of these freedom fighters would actually join the army immediately? Like, do you think they oh, would I all immediately? Would. Yeah, they, they all, all think say they, they would. would. Yeah. Oh, I fucking would. But, <laughs> but then, then suddenly as, they yeah. have a they roll their ankle too often or something. Or like they the bring, bad ankles. They, well, they would just die so fast, right? Because yeah. they're all fake tough guys. Yeah, they're all fake tough guys. It's hilarious. So they'd show up with <laughs> their gun and they'd brandish it like. Look at what I fucking like. They, would they wouldn't be they, they wouldn't be they wouldn't be able to like <laughs> stop themselves from like showing off what yeah. they had. They wouldn't be able to like quietly. They can't quietly do anything, so they couldn't quietly have guns and then like wait until people started shooting and yeah. then fire back. They would have to be like, look at my big truck, look at my big gun, look at, and then a sniper would be like, look at that guy with the big gun, yeah. bang. Like they would be doing a TikTok of them holding. So they, yeah. Oh, a so gun. they would stay. Like they would stay and they would fight, but they would do it in such a performative way Absolutely. of like look at my giant fucking that's gun. so it, it is interesting to think about flags and like they're very performative about everything yeah, like they're little like fucking babies if is what people they are. had to join the war like north americans would be so performative about yeah, it they would be doing it in their big trucks with their big flags and their loud music and their christian rock and yeah. their fucking crosses and their big guns and yeah like, Look at all my ammo, and then Boom. so there'd be just be a tank that's like, yeah, I I located these. I located fifty of them, and they're all doing TikToks. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, drop yeah, tell the drone to drop the payload now. <laughs> and the, uh, so they would all stay and die very fast. Yeah, that's true. Like they wouldn't be like Ukrainians that are like. I'm going to hide over here by all this broken glass and yeah. dead bodies. And then, like, once every five minutes, I'll get up and, like, fire a shot. Yeah. And then, like, they would have to do it in this way where they were the star. Yeah. They were the star oh, of the war. Oh, they'd have to be the star. Absolutely. Who's star the star of, the of this war? And guess what? That's guess a good movie. <laughs> star of the war. Who is the star of this war? Yeah. We need a new Zelensky. Well, Who's they boring? always. But Americans do that. There's always a star to all their wars. Like, General mm -hmm. Schwarzkopf is a star in war. Like, what are the other. Like, they yeah, become a celebrity. One, it's generals, weird. Yeah. The generals usually, yeah. Anybody with all those fucking, like, dumb, yeah. fake. Look at all this shit. Yeah. Like, well, who cares? Like, fucking idiot. Like, look at all I, my learned how to, I learned how to kill people. My grandpa got medals for World yeah, War II, and I his mean, mom threw different. them in the fire. Oh, because she was like, she fuck was this. She was like, fuck, you suffered for three fucking years. Fuck this. And gave you a couple of medals, and she threw his medals in the fire. And he wasn't that mad about it. Well, he I probably guess he had no fucking way. choice. Yeah. They're like, I love those medals. Mom, oh, Mom, boy. oh, 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 oh. No, she threw them yeah. in the fire. 
no, that's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how this war ends probably, right? Is Russian moms that are like, no, keep your fucking, yeah. you know, like uh, he, he's dead, but here's 19 spoons. Yeah. What? I don't that's fucking care. They're already crazy. fighting for sugar in Russia at grocery stores. Oh sugar fights. God. But they did that before sugar the war. Fights. They're Russians. They love their sugar. That would be funny if it's like, no, that's actually pretty normal for Russians. <laughs> they've <laughs> always fight they've over been sugar. doing sugar fights since the <laughs> 90s. Sugar fights is a <laughs> good name for a band. <laughs> they have sugar fights oh my every God. weekend. <laughs> it's like WrestleMania over there. All right, <laughs> welcome to the sugar fight. <laughs> this week it's brown sugar. In a fucking cardboard octagon. <laughs> Fighting over a bag of sugar. I think yeah, uh, yeah, it'd be, it would be. I hope this doesn't continue. <laughs> oh yeah, the oh yeah, the small town show that I did. There was like, cause he, I I feel like this is how it's gonna might be sort of. Well, I don't know. Maybe this guy was just a lunatic, but there was a couple people that made it very clear that did like, they? do not talk. Don't be liberal at all. Yeah, yeah, do not like that would be a deal breaker. Yeah, that would be. I try to avoid and that. You as definitely much as get I can. the feeling now when you go to these towns where, like, if you were to sort of take pot yeah. shots at like conservatives, and you were to take like even if they were even handed, yeah, um, pot shots about like you know freedom and you know don't talk like about freedom, don't like talk that, about like they're like they yeah. would be like nope, you got to go now. Yeah, like it's time for you to leave. So it's like all right, I don't give a shit. Well, and I think people are actually like I've noticed crowds are sick of hearing about COVID like. <clears throat> You'll yeah, talk a COVID bit about COVID sure. and people, but it, people are like, okay, we've heard it. We've lived it. Let's talk about something different. So people yeah. don't want to hear about, po- people don't want to hear about politics. People don't want to hear about, like, that's what I've noticed from the crowd. Yeah, it was a I little bit too long towns. ago. That it's like, sort of like when you talk about the lockdown, it's sort of a little too long yeah. ago now. Where I mean, I like still have lockdown jokes because I don't want to write through like, it. You know, in the <laughs> lockdown, uh, you know, when we were all stuck in our houses there, people were like, yeah, I, I uh, mean, that was, that was a, a while, while ago, ago. you idiot. And it's funny because as comedians were like, that's the newest shit I have. Yeah. And the crowd's like, that's old. And it's that like, was you think that's old? That Wait until you get a load of every other joke. That was two COVID years ago, which is the equivalent of five actual years. Because yeah. it felt like forever. Yeah. So the crowd is like, oh, this is old. Yeah. And we're like, no, that ain't old. <laughs> no. The other shit's old. The other Very shit old. is way old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've it's been doing some new. old ones just to get myself back in the whole well, thing. Well, yeah, because Kathleen in small towns, that's a different story where you're like, I'm going to fucking tell it like I feel it. I, I like, I, like But I do have to be careful because it, it will happen because I sometimes I like say like I talk about the $2,000 per month I never made and I'm like come from uh, from Uncle Justin and sometimes they laugh about me. it. That's for me. <laughs> but then I've added this whole thing where I'm just like <clears throat> because I've noticed in small towns they get all, ooh, you took Serb? Well, well, fuck yeah, I took Serb. I paid into unemployment for four since I was 14 years old, and I've never qualified to actually collect unemployment when I wasn't working very much because I worked in the restaurant industry and I never had enough hours, or I was a mm. like comedian and you don't get any, like they're like fuck you comedian. that's not a real job. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I love the fact that that used to be a word. Like it's I still see people use it, yeah. not just the comedy factory. Like no. I, I've, I've seen other like, and it's always like some poster like comedian. So and so, and I'm just like, oh my god, let's just not. It's funny that that was even a word. I know, but how are you supposed to tell the difference between the two? Is it a comedian or a comedian? Yeah, because we don't like comedians here. We don't like com- we like comedians. Yeah, <laughs> not comedians. I did an all ladies show uh, in Fox Creek, and they oh, were. Oh, that s- was the one where you were supposed to be kind of cleanish. That's right? what they said. That she, the girl comes up and she's like, "You're gonna be really filthy, right?" I'm like, "Absolutely." She's oh yeah. Like, she's we're like, gonna drink Diva Cup blood tonight. Oh, and we did, and we painted it on our <laughs> face. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we ran around and killed men. No, but they were like, they were so fun. And I've never had a show. I've done ladies' nights before, but there's always been some sort of man in the room, like either bartending or mm. serve, or doing some, or some, or in Either attendance. Guys serving, yeah. But it was a complete, a hundred percent female room, and it was weird because some of my jokes, I actually need men in the crowd. Right. For them to work a bit better, yeah. if they're not there, I had to like adjust some stuff on stage. I'm like, that's weird. Oh, yeah, no, I've had that before, too, where I'm like, well, ladies, n- uh, or, you know, yeah, men's night. You're yeah. Like, the ladies, if there was a lady here. If there was a lady Yeah, so, here. and it doesn't land as hard, right? If yeah, you're it like, doesn't. Uh, who here has a little tiny dick? And then <laughs> everybody's like, well, that always here. lands with women. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can just be like, my ex boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> but it helps if there's a guy there who's like, kind of looking I like that I guy. I need a guy to make fun of. Yeah. That's the yeah, thing. You need your guy. Yeah. But they it's were fun. They were hilarious. And like, we, they, I was going to just kind of like go back to my hotel or even drive home that night. But then they're like, you got to come hang out with us. And they kept on buying me drinks. 
And then they're like, we're going to make sure you get everywhere. And I'm like, okay, as long as I get back to my car tomorrow morning, that's all I care about. And we went to this place called The Grizz. It was like uh, a dive bar, like terrifying dive bar, but awesome. It was just mm-hmm. like my favorite. Um, but it was so, all this stuff in small towns. I fucking love small towns because they have a, they don't have a cab there. So they just have a woman who has like a party style bus, like or a tour bus. Mm-hmm. And she just comes and picks you up for a tip. She just drives around all night with her phone. People text her. They come get because she's just a cool old lady that wants to help out her community. And she's making like I gave her 20 bucks. Like yeah, that's more than I would have given a cab. They that multitask night. in those towns, man. There's yeah, you'd be like, she's a pro- she's the town prostitute. Uh, and the cab driver. And yeah. And the cab driver. <laughs> and she's a substitute teacher. She's a substitute teacher. And she hangs out at the bar and yeah. she'll do H- HJs for 150. That place was so funny because they the whole time they kept on saying they got new floors. They got they kept. You're gonna you wait till you see the new floors. I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, well, they took out the carpeting. I'm like, do they still have carpeting? But she's like, yeah, they took it out like a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, oh my god! Like I've been to bars and like was ugh. it divey? Oh yeah, it was like it was rough. Like and like in twenty bucks would get you like a pitcher of booze and like <laughs> definitely was not like I got one. I took one sip. I was like, that's only a little bit of soda. That's all vodka. Like that was, and it was like. Thank God it was like with a bunch of girls and they, they all knew each other and stuff because I would have been in, and I'm never that intimidated, but walking in there as a woman, if I'd been by myself or with just one other, it would be a little scary because there was mm-hmm. a lot of dudes there, <laughs> like a lot. And they're all like oh yeah, rig workers, pipeline workers. And they're all like, yeah. And like we heard one guy when we walked in like, oh shit, look at all these girls. Girls were going to totally get laid. And then the one lady's like, we're all married. <laughs> Oh my god. They were yeah. and, then and they were like right on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's perfect. That's my favorite <laughs> kind. She won't bother me after. Yeah. They were all like, "Oh yeah, we grew up together here, most of us, and um we've all had sex with each other's husbands, not like after we've been married, but like we all went to high school Before. and we all cert- we dated and then like switched around." <laughs> like this mm. is hilarious. Switched around. We didn't like that one, but she didn't. It worked out for them. Like it, they were hilarious. These women That's and they were so much fun. But yeah, Whenever I see, like, when – this is why I, I get annoyed with corporate comedy. Like, just – nobody wants a super clean show. Maybe if it's, like, a church or maybe if it's, like, a, s- a certain work event, I get. But if it's a bar show, nobody wants a squeaky clean show. If it's going to be in a bar or a community hall or a legion, like, don't even – just say, yeah. listen, we've got a comic that's really great, but she's dirtier, but she will do a great job. Like, this is how I know I don't have an actual agent in this game because – Nobody ever pitches me to do this no. stuff. I'm always like the, the I'm always like the eighth female comic that they'll call. Like I think I was about the fifth in line <laughs> to get this well, gig. Well, uh, and this one it probably was like we don't care about content. No, so I was the call because they didn't care about content. We well he, he told you to keep. Oh it clean. yeah. He probably told you to keep it yeah. clean just in case. Yeah, if they had but been they like, ha- they must have requested like mm-hmm. we want it, we want it to be a girl and we want her yeah. to like no holds barred. Yeah. And that's why that you were hired. So you're only getting hired for ones where somebody calls and says, we want it fucking yeah. like red raw. But like they won't pay a corporate rate for that because they don't have um, to. Yeah, because they don't have to. It's just it's like, like you pay a premium if you want it I'm clean. so excited that um, that like uh, comedy clubs and agencies are dying because like comics are booking their own shit and they see how much money they can make. So pff, hopefully the agent that booked me on this doesn't listen to this or whatever, but I don't know. <laughs> he does. But uh, – <laughs> But yeah. sh- the girls were like, they said, oh, we love Lisa Baker. And I was like, well, fuck, tell, like, could you pack this room? How many people can fit in here? They're like, 300. Could you sell it out? Absolutely. Let's fucking do our own show and give Lisa the door because that's how she works. And then you guys make a ton of money off a of booze and everybody fucking wins. And there's no agent sitting in their hot tub at home. <laughs> One <laughs> night, Lisa's going to go, like, I want to book Lisa and be like, I'll give you the door. And then at the end of the night, I take all the money and I just fucking give her the actual door. door. <laughs> like, here you go. You wanted the door? She would there you go, that's you fucking, fucking hilarious. There you go, you bitch. <laughs> I was at her house on Friday. I got nine grand in my trunk. I was at her house on Friday for her fiance's birthday. And it was, well, first of all, I walk in, I'm like, where is everybody? And of course, everyone is in the kitchen. Because mm. it's a Newfoundland. But, like, it's a huge house. And everyone was like, what's wrong with people? But then um, I wasn't drinking that night because I was like, I don't want to have to park because she's way on the south side. So I was just hanging out, um, and I was there with Natasha and Adam. And Adam 
decided that he wanted to show all these 18 year old boys how much he could shotgun. He literally shotgunned like 15 beers. I'm what like, the fuck? He was acting like he was 18 as well. And of course, well, I think he was ready for it because I saw him. Oh, he needed. Night, yeah, he, he was needed like, I'm going out. to get. Oh, he, we got home and he like puked all over the bathroom, fell into the shower, took the shower curtain down. He was like, this is what you chose. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I love it. <laughs> He's like, are you mad at me? I'm like, no, I you needed to do this. Just clean up your puke because I'm not cleaning it up. Yeah. But uh, but Lisa's party. At one point, it was like Natasha and Lisa Baker screaming at each other. Like they were right in front of each other. And like, because they're the two loudest people I know. I used to think I was loud. But then I met Lisa Baker and, and they were both like hilarious. They're just like <laughs> into each other's faces. And I'm like, this is incredible. Were they, they weren't even mad at each other. No, right? they, they were, were having like, a conversation. Yeah. They were like having a spirited conversation. It was fucking hilarious. But it oh was, yeah. yeah, it was really fun. And they have different tones too. Oh yeah, It'll it's like totally different. Yeah. Like a fire, you know, <laughs> one of those. Like me. One's a fire truck and one's an ambulance. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> <laughs> so them talking would just be strange. Yeah. I had so much fun and I wasn't even drinking. I just got tired and I was like, let's go. And when Adam came up behind me and couldn't even focus on my face, I'm like, I think we should probably go now. That's probably and he was good like, idea. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, I can't drink like that. I'm like, I know, but you wanted to, and you had a good time in the moment. And yeah, who cares? Yeah. What do you got going on this week? Oh, you're doing shows with me. I'm doing shows with you. Boring. Tumblr Ridge. You looked at pictures of that place? No, I don't it's look pretty. at images of things. There's like a big, huge waterfall near it or something. Really? Yeah, Google Tumblr Ridge and like I was looking at pictures and it's like, I don't know, it must be nearby. But some, the lady who booked the Dawson Creek show, which you are doing next month, she was like, oh, Tumblr Ridge is beautiful. You'll like drive in and you're on the top of a hill and it just kind of opens up and it's old coal town. Mm. Old Coal Town. Oh, remember that movie where it was like all the girls, like the guys died in the mine? And then women what? took over the town. It was like an old western or something. It was a terrible movie, but like it was kind of a cool concept of like all the miners died, all the, all the men died, died and the over. women took over the town and they were fucking tough enough. <laughs> and it was kind of cool, but I don't know. It was a terrible movie. I love it. Like <laughs> You're like it was awful, but it was empowering to women. <laughs> it was a cool like the I'm like this is a cool idea, but the execution is fucking terrible. Was it an '80s movie or was it like very no old? no it was like right around the arc of we better make this like maybe 2015 or whatever. Oh really? Yeah. What fucking movie is that? Because imagine how many like old white male executives were like, uh, bring me back that Tupperware dish with the girl ideas in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they've just <laughs> been <laughs> storing 30 years of girl ideas. They just open it in burps. Giant Tupperware dish. Oh, my God. That's so funny. One of those so big funny. blue fucking. They're just like, <laughs> go get the Tupperware dish with all the girl ideas what? from 1989 until today. That's so fucking funny. Like, I don't know. How many did we use? None. We None. actually didn't use any. None of these have been taken. Well, they did. <laughs> I love my favorite, like, feminist movies in Hollywood. Like, they always have, like, Bad Girls, that Western with all women. Was that the one? Maybe it was or something like like guys still got in got their noses in this one. Well, the guys were in Bad Girls, but same as uh, like Charlie's Angel, the reboot was very uh, feminist for its time. But then you watch it, and you're like, well, that's kind of shitty. <laughs> and there obviously is there like a Rebecca's Angels where it's like studly guys and a girl who's the mastermind. Is that out yet? Um, no, I don't think so. Why don't we make that one? Why don't we? Rebecca's Angels. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Rebecca is like. Got all these hot guys around her. Go get them, studs. <laughs> Not angels, I guess. They'd be like, you know. Oh, no. This one is about four prostitutes <laughs> joined together to travel the Old West. That's what Bad Girls is about. Oh. But look at that prostitutes. poster. Yeah, of course, they had to be prostitutes, right? But they're tough. They're tough prostitutes. Because they're all tough. But they all look really fucking hot on the back of a horse. Mm-hmm. Like, look how pretty oh, they yeah. are. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Look at pictures of women from that time period, and they did not look like <laughs> No. Well, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be going into prostitution. <laughs> yeah. They would be fighting for their lives from every guy going by their fucking house. Like, what? What's going on in this tent? <laughs> like, every, you know, you're living in a village, and any fucking just drunk guy just lifts a sheet and go looks at you. And you're like, oh, God, I have to <laughs> fight this fucking guy. And you do. <gasps> They'd have to fight a lot. They would have to fight a lot. 
That's not freedom. <laughs> that is not That's freedom. Fucking weird tyranny, man. They probably had freedom rallies back then, though, for sure. They definitely yeah. did. I don't know. I've, yeah, I'm, uh, it's weird because I'm not. I'm like, oh, I got shows again, and I'm like, ah, oh, god. It's the same reason why I was never jealous of anybody who's doing well. As I'd look at their schedule and go, oh boy, it's a oh lot boy. of travel. But at least the ones that are doing well are flying places mostly, not driving. True, yeah. But like now that I'm back doing, it, I'm like, oh my god, like going to tiny communities to like just like, hey guys, how's it going? Because it's just, you know, you just do. It's pretty easy, yeah. right, to do because all you have to do is like pretend everything they say is the craziest thing you ever heard. Yeah. What do you do for a living, sir? I'm a fucking. I fix the combines down at the machine zone, <laughs> and you're like, what? The m- where? You know, you just act like that's insane. Yeah. What you're saying? That's crazy. And they're like, this guy's a big city guy who doesn't know our little tiny lifestyle. <laughs> So you just act like everything that they do it's and incredible. say is crazy. And yeah. Y- you're like, you know, yeah, it's pretty easy. It is so it's easy. not hard, but it's not fun either. It's, it's like, like it's it is a, a lot time. of driving. Like literally, because I was literally where we're going this weekend, last weekend. I'm like, I wish I could have just like spent the week here. Maybe I could have stayed here and done nothing. Just hung out instead of having to drive. But we have to get donuts on the way up. We went to that one that Kenny Lee always talked about. Is it good? Crooked Creek. Oh, fuck, is it good? It is so good. It's really? ridiculous. They're hot. Hot donuts? Yeah. And they're so it's not like mini donuts, but not mini. They're real big, and they're like, they're. I thought they were cake donuts, but they're like those yeast. They're so soft, and like, Ooh. they're so good. We have to stop. We stopped on the way there and the way back. <laughs> That's the problem for me and donuts is I'd be like, we're, I, how many do you want to get? 15? I know. Like, I, I know. Like, how many should we get for the trip? Tw- I mean, I could eat four. How many do you guys want? Yeah. No, I know. I know. that We, we did get a dozen. We didn't finish all I'm of them. I'm a sugar addict. I would not be doing well in Russia right now. Yeah, My you would sugar be. Sugar fighting skills. All the sugar fighting. Like, they'd be like, Sean's not tough, but you should see him fight for sugar. <laughs> 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 he fucking takes down a much bigger man when it's a sugar fight. <laughs> <laughs> when he's got s- when he's got stakes in the game or whatever, he fights for it. If it's for his wife's honor, he goes down fast. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's sugar boy, he, he will not take he a fucking fall. Take no prisoners. Like he will rip someone's throat out to get that bag of sugar that week. Yeah. So it's weird. It was a month long war, but you're still on TikTok. You're not following it. You're looking at Tumblr Ridge photos. Yeah. I, d- I try not to follow. I know I should. I should be more involved. But then I'm like, hey, why bother? When you're so when people like say stuff online, I'm like, what are you actually even doing? Like, are you doing anything? Well, you, I mean, it's like you're. Yeah, exactly. It's like you're either interested in it, either like it either compels you when you're interested in it or yeah. you, it doesn't. And if it doesn't, then why? Because bo- it's like it's sad and you can do nothing to stop it. Yeah. So it's like, why would I get into something that I'm not interested in, makes me sad, and I can't change it? Yeah. Those like are three things that are like, why would I do that? I'd rather listen to murder podcasts. Yeah, because then you can be like, oh, I know what the clue is. I know who did it. I already know who did it. <laughs> 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 Imagine all the racists that got that wrong over the years. It was the black guy, I bet. <laughs> oh, my God. Think about how many, like, racists, racist white people, like, watched a murder show or yeah. a crime show or whatever. And they purposely put a black guy in as the first, like, maybe he did it. And everybody's like, he did it. Yeah. All these races, like, he did yeah. it. And then more clues become available. And like, oh, it wasn't the black guy. I wonder if it was the one of the white, well, it couldn't be one of the white guys. They s- they're all doctors and it's clergymen. Easy. It's easy to spot somebody that's truly racist because they truly are and they can't help it. Like, they yeah. won't try to help it. Like, I read a tweet today that was about, you won't know about Real Housewives, but it was like, the lady at my work that says she's like the biggest Real Housewives fan has n- has seen all of the Housewives series except for Potomac and Atlanta, the all black series. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, and he's like, it was a it was a black guy that tweeted it, and it was so funny because he's like, well, you're just showing us, like you're just show. She's talked, she's never seen, I've seen all of them except, except for, for the, the ones, ones with all black, black cast. Girl. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I well, d- yeah, I was listening to a podcast the other day with like this. Um, you know, he, I can't remember what his name is, but you know, he's in like a news guy and he's a black guy. And he was saying like, you can tell when somebody's a racist because like, you know, they're cool to you, they're nice to you, but then they come to your house and see that your house is bigger than theirs, or and see that you mad. have a better car than them, or something. And they're like, so you own this, or oh, they'll or believe that you could do. Are that. you leasing this car? Or like, they'll just be like, wait yeah. a minute, a black guy's got more than me. Like, you know, so they're fine. Until they see like what your possessions are, yeah. and then they're like, "Wait one second now. Isn't that what a microaggression is? That's yeah. a micro where it's like, yeah, where it's like you're saying something super shitty, yeah, but and trying to be cool and it's about r- it, and it is racist. Yeah, it's like w- I'm gonna fuck like that guy's like, 
Well, and I mean, maybe there's like 10% of it is people that just don't know, like, oh, you can make money as a journalist, or like this guy's like, you know, an award winning journalist. But and he's most wealthy. Of the time. Yeah. Like, it's mostly black. It's yeah. 95% that he's black, yeah. and 5% that it's like they don't understand that you could like work for NBC and yeah. be worth, you know, $5 million or whatever. They don't quite get it, but. Yeah, it's still the craziest, most racist thing you could say. Like, so this is your property, or yeah, are you leasing for this from a white person, or like, well, I mean, I th- how could it get worse than that? It's funny because there's like all these people online that are like, "Well, what do you want white people to do?" And there are all these black people being like, "Shut up for a while," which is how it felt when we when the Me Too thing happened, where it's like, "Yeah, shut up for a while, guys. Like, stop talking about, stop supporting us, and stop verbally. Sp- you just do it." And I think that that's what happening right now and white people are just like so i'm not even allowed to have an opinion no you're not <laughs> just yeah. shut up for a while it's like i tell black twitter every night <laughs> why can't i fucking tell you what's going on oh it's so weird it's like yeah it, it is it's a weird it's a weird time everything it's it's cr- i feel like things are shifting huge but maybe not i don't know and I'm almost never on like well Anything i mean I'm, yeah i'm not on it so i don't like i mean i'm on it but like only because you have to be, but I'm not on it. Like, I don't care. Yeah, you're one Like, I'll be on Twitter to, like, follow, like, you know, whoever I want to follow uh, in terms of, like, politics or history or whatever. But I don't give a fuck about, like, it comedy. I could care less. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I, there's, I don't see any comedy posts on Facebook or Twitter. Like, I don't see any of it. Yeah. Like, I could care less. Um, but yeah, so I don't see any of the little arguments or fights or whatever that you're always engaged in or yeah. whatever that you're always aware oh, of. Oh, I don't engage in, in fights. I just watch. I never comment on it because I'm like, no, I could say something really stupid right now. So I'm just going to sit here and watch everybody else fight it out mm-hmm. and talk about stuff. Like I'm, that's why I like TikTok. It's like, I don't post on it that much. I post on it when I'm bored or when I'm drunk. <laughs> that's when I post on yeah. TikTok. But yeah. like, yeah, I just don't not following anybody like not seeing any um, comedy related posts on social media is probably not a great career move. But it's because then you never because you, you never hear move. like, oh, there's a club there or hey, there's a show yeah. there. Like you never see the posters and they're like, yeah, oh, that's a thing that's going on. Oh, I should call that guy. Find out who books it. I'm like, I don't I never saw that. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I don't care. I don't need to know. I don't want to know. There's <laughs> some there's some good. Co- some people are so cringy either cringy or so funny that it's great to follow them but i like, like the cringe i'm more of the i've always been a cringe guy i've yeah. always like my preference would always be going to the comedy factory to watch that show than like you know if there was bill burr maria bamford and louis ck at the citadel and there was the comedy factory i'd go to the factory <laughs> I d- i'm it's boring laughter is boring yeah it's boring. It like, is. Oh, these guys are funny. Like, I already know they're funny. Uh, what's the point? Like, why do I want to come is here fun. and laugh? Like, I could just, <laughs> like, I already know I'm going to laugh hard, but I could laugh hard at home watching videos of monkeys fall down <laughs> or, like, <laughs> fucking cats on skateboards. Like, yeah. I don't need a certain type of laughter. It's all the same therapy. So I might as well do it here at home. Yeah. You know, then fucking go out and listen and. <laughs> oh, that's a funny one, Bill. <laughs> he really tore that one apart. He really tore down that sector. <laughs> Boy, that's a fun tear down. I don't care. I'd rather laugh um, at someone, not with my them. favorite type of <laughs> laughter. My f- yeah, my favorite type of laughter is at, not with. Yeah, I'm more of an at guy. That's fine. At I'm least you a, can I'm admit not it. A with, but I won't laugh at them like to. Th- I'm not like ha ha. I'm not like performatively like you are lower. Yeah. you are a low form. I just love it. I just think it's so funny watching people like act. I just like people watching people act like um, they're like I am one of the greats yeah when they're clearly in an environment where that doesn't fit like i like it when people are like you know i'm you know acting like the king but you're not the king yeah like you look where you are look at your surroundings clearly <laughs> you're garbage that's fun to me it not like so not not, some, not somebody who thinks they're great and they are great like that's boring yeah like oh he thinks he's great and he is great you and like to watch delusion yeah i like to watch the delusion i like to watch somebody who is performing like they're Bill Burr, yeah. but they're in a fuck. They're in Mariupol or something, <laughs> you know. I yeah, I totally. I I I like a painful set. Remember that one time that you <laughs> guys, you and Andrew sent me to Yuck Ducks. <laughs> sent you to Yuck. Ducks. That one night because we like we met a at the nu- comic like strip. No, we were at the comics. I was oh, at the comic right, strip. We did the early yeah. show, and then you guys showed up for the late show, and you you were like. I was just going to stick around, but like, you have to go to Yuck Yucks to see this comedian. He is incredible. And I was like, really? 
you like there you were selling it so well and i got there and it was just like sound effects the whole set and it was (laughs) the worst well and the reason that i we thought it would be so funny to tell you that is because we knew that he like opened with like a bunch of motorcycle noises yeah. So like y- we knew you'd be like, oh, this is gonna be fun. Like y- I wonder what, and then like, within ten seconds, <laughs> you'd be like, oh my. So you knew like the jig was up immediately. <laughs> yeah, I knew. As soon as you heard him talk, it wasn't like, like it wasn't like over. I sat there for <laughs> forty five minutes lie. and then I laughed. It was the second he stepped on stage and started talking. I'm like, you fuckers, like you <laughs> fucking. How long liar. did it take before you knew you were lied to? I don't know. Not long. Was it a joke or two jokes? It had to be re- quite early. Yeah. I don't think it's the comic you were thinking of either. It was no. he was an American comic. I don't mm. remember what his name was, but it was like the worst <laughs> show. <I've ever> seen. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It was pretty. <laughs> are you going to travel again or are you done? I want to like travel fly and travel. Where's the first place you're going to go to <coughs> international travel wise? Where do you want to go? I don't know. I'd go to Mexico just for a nice break again. I like Mexico, but um, I want to go to Europe or something. Probably. Yeah. Or I was looking at um, where was I looking in Malaysia and stuff. And you can go there and like there's you can get like a hotel room with your own fucking pool for like a hundred bucks a night. It's crazy. That's gotta be I wonder like in uh, Bora Bora and uh, like Malaysia and That's the I mean, I feel I always feel bad for, you know, when it's like when people talk about going to certain places on holidays and they're like, It is cheap as fuck. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like if you live there you're like, Hey, we got a lot of tourists. I wonder what they're saying about us online. Like, it is dirt ass fucking cheap. Like yeah. 900 comments in a row like you know it is the cheapest f- and it's like what about our mountains and our that's first world privilege that's first world like privilege yeah it's like first world Canada. white privilege <laughs> and the uh, yeah and the, the, i think i was looking at some like travel shit online from like europeans and americans and i was like where is the best place to visit in canada and uh like every one of them was banff yeah like banff was number one everywhere in the world banff. and then i'm like oh yeah like you forget about Banff. Yeah. You're like, oh, Banff. That old bunch of bullshit. That old area where my phone doesn't work. <laughs> that fucking place. I never get reception <laughs> right after the gates. <laughs> I hate that fucking cell dead zone <laughs> known as the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> 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 yeah, what am I supposed to do if I, if I, I should be tweeting right now, but instead I'm looking at these fucking rocks <laughs> forced out of the center of the earth over time. Boring. But I wonder if traveling if will be as fun, though. Probably, I'm you sure. Think it mountains will be. would be less impressive if they were humped. You think so? Like if they were just hump rock humps. If they were big hills, not pointy. Yeah, if it was just like rock humps, would we be like, ugh? Well, I don't want to go I there. Think hills like, are what's still the quite best place impressive? to go in Canada? Banff, like except I don't know, Banff. It's just a bunch of big hills. It's so expensive, and the f- it's just big hills. Like I wish those things were pointy. Yeah. You know, little things that make tourism go, but you're like, eh, if it was a mound or if it looked melted, if it was a melted candle look, people would be like, I don't know. <laughs> you can't climb them. It's too smooth. <laughs> would you ever do something like that? Like climb, climb a, mountain? a mountain? No, because well, I, w- I did Birch Bay Ranch in grade seven and um, you had to do a wall and I, I, <laughs> I couldn't do it. I could no. not climb myself up that wall so that they let me take the stairs. To the rope bridge, and then I took the rope bridge. I almost fell off, and then I did a zip line after, and I, <laughs> I almost hit the end. I'm like, I don't like this outdoors shit. Yeah, I couldn't do the one where you had to put the pegs in. Oh, there's no way I could do that I could one. I could do, like, you know, get, like, one foot off the ground and, like, I love that you were talking about American Gladiator style shit, and you're like, I can't do that. I'm like, really? You can't Well, that was do in that? the curriculum. That was in the sort of, like, in the yeah. junior high. Well, oh, I remember curriculum. when gym used to be terrifying. Like, you'd have to climb a rope, and I'm yeah. like, I can't. I'm a fat kid. I cannot climb this rope. It will not happen. I don't know what to tell you. We had a teacher that used to, like, and try even trying is embarrassing. Right? Yeah, it's embarrassing. It's like she only got that far. Yeah, up. that's pretty much what it was. And like, we had a teacher that would like make us duck walk back from the gym, like you like squat and walk. And I would cry, and it was like traumatic every time. Oh, were you one of those like doctor's note girls? I just cried. I would yeah. just eventually cry and be like, I'm fat. I can't. I like do how this. you didn't even have the forethought to be like, because we there was always like two girls in every gym I class that'd be like doctor's note to be like. I have a doctor's note so I don't have to run. I have a doctor's note so I don't have to play soccer. I have a doctor's note so I don't. Yeah, they yeah. always have like doctor note people. Uh, yeah, but I always got a doctor's note for Terry Fox Day because I did never wanted to do that Terry Fox. <laughs> oh, you did have a doctor's note for Terry Fox Day. I just was always like, can I be <laughs> mom? Can I be sick on Terry Fox Day so I don't have to go run? 
Because you'd the have to patriotism run. Patriotism runs oh. deep in the McGee household. Listen, I was Mom, fat. Mom, can I okay? just pretend I have the flu for <laughs> Terry Fox Day? Like, <laughs> I'll still donate. I'll still collect and donate. I just don't want to have to who run. Was sick and ran. Yeah. <laughs> And juxtaposed against the girl who's pretending so she doesn't have to. A chunky girl that couldn't run. <laughs> <laughs> it's always, to it me. was always more the embarrassment <laughs> than anything else. It wasn't like the the fact that you can couldn't do it. It was always just like, okay, now I'm just gonna be like, because it's embarrassing. Dying yeah. in front of all these junior yeah. high boys, and they're all gonna be like, oh look, it's Kathleen. She's gonna have a heart attack. And, and they'll tell stories about it for five years. Yeah, yeah they'll be like, yeah. so you'll see them at a party at the great at the ten year reunion. Remember when you tried to climb that rope and you fell off? And Remember yeah, yeah. when you were at that Terry Fox <laughs> run and you fucking just beetled off of the bridge? And <laughs> 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 you just, you, was, you, I think you said you fainted or something, but you fell off the side of a bridge. I hope nothing bad happens to me this weekend because every time I've gone on the road with you. I know. Like Lloyd Minster, I woman. fainted. Mm -hmm. For McMurray, I puked. This one. I'm not going to do anything this weekend, but just enjoy myself. Well, I'll just be high. I'll be, I'll be high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and I'm not going to suck on a shatter pen. That's what made me pass out, I think. Oh, the shatter pen. And the pen. mushrooms. Yeah, and the mushrooms and the shatter pen. And the booze. I like, all that stuff mushrooms, mixed together. shatter pen, booze. And, and probably then, like, my prescription medication. <laughs> and also, like, doing a show where it was like, Meh. Oh, that was such a, yeah, shitty. Like, it, there was no sort of, like, because you'd get something out of it. Like, when you have a good show and stuff, like, you actually yeah. have, like, a, hey, I'm uplifted. Yeah, like, that's why I hung out with those girls, because I had a great show, mm -hmm. and they were fun. But if I had oh, a if you were shitty bombed, show, you I wouldn't even try to sell shirts. I would have like, bye. And that's how you can tell you're social and I'm not because when I go and do shows like that, I am setting it up days in advance. Like, hey, I'll see you guys on Saturday. Um, you know, I'm, I've got to leave Sunday at about 4 a.m. for a child's funeral or like I won't say that, but I'll say something about like I got to go. Yeah, like, I am in. You I am out. Stay late. Yeah, yeah, cannot yeah. stay. And then I'll show up a half an hour before say hi. Like, ah, oh God, I wish I could stay. Yeah. Can't, though. Because of that. So much shit to do. 5 a.m. funeral. Yeah, like I was having fun with them because I was thinking about just driving home because I was done at like 10 p.m. It's only two hours, Edmonton, but they were like fun. And I'm like, OK, well, I'm having Where fun. was it again? Fox Creek. Oh, so yeah, it isn't too, too far. Yeah. Yeah, it's like two hours. It's not bad. Yeah. And it was it just you by yourself. Yeah. Those are w that's what th those are the things in comedy I hate is like the solo show, the showing up by yourself show. Yeah. I, it's so I that's my least favorite part about doing comedy is like talking to people off stage just because I'm not because I don't like them it's just like my I get anxious and like I feel like a d idiot and I yeah. always say something well stupid. and when it's a ladies night it's fun because it's sort of like they hired you they know you like they are, it's a probably a small group of women that were like cherry like yeah. hand picked you so they were like happy to have you but if you go to like a town show and there's like 300 people and they're all over the map and, and a couple of them are commenting on the show but still if he still comes to the show i swear to god this guy's a loser May he might watch he comp complains about all shit he am and he still comes to the show like what's I wrong with you that's i think it was funny that the body i do think it's funny <laughs> that you were the body i do think it's funny that you were just like this fucking guy stole my facebook friend i was like what the fuck i was looking at a fake number I've spent the last four years looking at a number that was always adjusted one too high. Because that guy's no friend of Facebook mine. <laughs> well, yeah, now it gets you thinking. How, what, 25% hate you? 25% oh, of your Facebook? I guarantee there's people that dislike me majorly that still follow me. I don't. I, like, it's always weird when, like, there's also people that are, like, not even just data, but, like, a one-night stand. Sometimes I'll be like, you're still liking my shit. Like, that's... Weird, weird, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll take I'll it. I'll take it. They all count the same. I'll take the internet points. They don't ask weird. how. They ask how many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and social media heaven. You got to get merch though, but you could. It's hard. To, that's the worst part about selling merch is standing there after and like people not buying and then you're like, mm. but then one person buys, then mm. everybody buys. You just gotta. Yeah. But my merch has been selling so much. Like I've had two full prints. Like I think I've sold over a hundred shirts already. Hmm. Could you crazy. do one that's like a diva cup? <laughs> Do you have a diva cup one? No, Natasha does. She's thinking about yeah. doing some sort of a diva cup joke. But the yeah. thing with the shirts that I'm like saying to other comics because they're like, well, I got this. I'm like, it has to be something that that somebody that didn't see the show will understand. Mm -hmm. Like it can't be a super specific joke because then I it won't think make what sense. What I'm gonna do is just have this wedding dresses. 
just I'm wedding. Just, I'm just gonna have a hundred wedding dresses I still and say try to sell sh- wedding dresses after the show, and just they're all different <laughs> sizes. You're hilarious. <laughs> and just get girls to try on. I love how like you're gonna dresses. truck around thirty. Are you medium? Gallons. You're. Are you a medium? <laughs> she's a medium. She's a medium wedding dress. I still think you should be a Reitman's <laughs> medium. I like yeah, Reitman's well medium. Well, you can use that one. You well, can I don't want to like steal Reitman's your stuff and like cares? make I'm money. I'm not doing anything with it. You might as well fucking make a dollar if you can, because you can get them made cheap. Yeah. And it would only make sense coming from you, right? Like, if I had Reitman's medium <laughs> shirts, it would be like, fuck you. You think you look good, you fat fucking loser? <laughs> but if you have them, then it's like, that's fun and funny. And okay, I'll do it and I'll cut you in. Yeah, it's from a, yeah, cut me in for fucking, yeah. Like, Ten oh, cents yeah, sure. A shirt. Give the man some money. Ten cents a shirt. <laughs> Ten cents a shirt. I don't like this wage gap. <laughs> I don't like this reverse wage gap where I'm not getting what I deserve. Because, no, re- if I start, like, hey, ladies, come buy your Reitman's medium shirts, yeah. they'd be like, fuck you. Like, yeah. I'm not fucking buying anything off of you, you fucking loser. Well, and in, in Do- Adam was selling my merch for me. It was so nice to have someone sell my merch for me. Um, and <laughs> this woman at the show, the whole time I thought she hated me. Like, she just had a sour, angry look on her face. And I felt like she was never laughing. And then she came up after and she said, that was amazing. And I'm like, I can't tell. I can't. Gr- I don't know. Yeah. And then Some she's of them like, just have that face. She, she said to Adam. Are you really her husband? <laughs> He's like, yeah. He's like, here's five bucks. You need it. <laughs> Jesus. It was I cute. bet she's a handful. <laughs> well, he isn't, or whatever. You can tell that joke. Yeah, I'm a handful. And then a small dick joke where you say, well, he's not a handful, or <laughs> something like that. You know? Why don't you become a female comic, Sean? <laughs> because honestly, yes, Jim says yes. Because honestly, like, <laughs> yeah, you should be. I honestly think that a comedian. Yes, you need to become a comedian. I think I that should you become would be an '80s comedian, Sean Lacomber comedian. Yeah, Sean Lacomber. Sean Lacomber. And this comedian. isn't. We're not making fun of trans people here. I'm just saying that, like, you would be so good because you love doing small dick jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just turn it on people. Like, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah. All these tiny little dicks telling me what to do. I wonder yeah. if that would be a show. Like, is that offensive to be like? You should do a show where the women. Have to be like men, and the men have to be like women, and they both have to do comedy in like a female. Or is that is that offensive to say that? Like, is that? I don't. Because mm. you know they had those shows, the Jekyll and Hyde shows, where like you would do your set sober, and then you'd go get fucked up, and then you come and do it drunk. Like I like stuff mm-hmm. like that. Or they would do shows where you would like swap. Like yeah, I would do you your material, do and you would do my material. Or you could do stuff that's like the opposite, where you're up there and you're like, "Aren't you tired of listening to girls with tiny tits?" Or yeah. Whatever? And then the crowd's like, "That's just." All breasts are beautiful, but, but then you just keep harping on the fact that like there's all these chicks with tiny tits, like I'm gonna start ringing the dinner bell. It's time. Tits it's time for dinner. Like why would I listen to some chick with no tits? This surfboard, <laughs> this surf, <laughs> this fucking surfboard wants me to fucking go to the doctor. It would just be interesting to see the perspective <laughs> of the jokes, like to see yeah, how they would funny change. To see you just like all of a sudden you just uh, switch lines of go attack. from misandry to misogyny. Yeah, go from misandry to misogyny. You just like don't you fucking hate it when these tiny dick dudes. And then just switch it to titties. Switch it to like, <laughs> why? Why are you listening to all these like, th- like it's not even a ha- this bitch isn't even a handful, and I'm supposed to listen to this fucking lady? <laughs> she wants me to fucking, you know, yeah. Because then you just see the reactions go through the floor. Yeah, <laughs> but would I still get away with it? Because I still present as a woman. You know what I mean? Mm, I don't know. Like I get away with being. Get away with it either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we know that I wouldn't. I think you should do some tiny dick jokes this weekend in Fort St. John. That'd be hilarious. You do tiny dick jokes. And you can do tiny Not about yourself, like not being self-deprecating because that's what every male comic does, but about other men. Well, because it doesn't make sense (laughs) when it's other men because then it's like, why would you care what another dick size is, you fucking weirdo? (laughs) Yeah. Like, don't you hate these guys with little dicks? Like, why? Why would you, what, you want big dicks running around? You want everybody with a big dick? Or maybe you should do some pro. It's like when comedians complain about, like, some of these comedians aren't even funny. It's like, you'd rather they were great. <laughs> you would rather everybody you're competing against was outstanding. Yeah. Wouldn't that be the worst world That's to live in? That's a very good point. Where it's like, you know what? These comedians are not very good. And it's like, g- good. That's great That's news for you. That's good news for, for you. you. Yeah. It's good news for everybody. <laughs> yeah. That they're not very good. Then go fucking beat them. Yeah. If they were great, this would be depressing as shit. If you're like, if it, all the car rides were just like, and you know who else is fucking a genius is uh, that other guy. And then you're like on the 800th comedian. You're yeah, like, you're like, we're I'm never going to make good, it. We're never, g- we're never going to make it. We're never going <laughs> to make it. We're never going to make it. Even if you're terrible comedians in a car, you sit around and figure out a way to make everybody garbage. Yeah. 
you know, it's the only way you can sort of live through the, the fact that you're likely driving eight hours into a, yeah, you have to do it for eight. You hours. just start making fun of people you like. You know, you're like, and it's other fact. I hate the way he walks. I'm excited to go with you and Kent because then I'll j- you guys talk about hockey and I'll just sleep in the back. <laughs> no, no sleeping for girls. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little fucking water bottle with one that sprays like a cat. <laughs> like a cat spray bottle. Every time I doze off. Not a mist either. Like, like if, I see, super if, I see your, if I see your eyes closing, mist. But if your eyes are closed, I'm switching it to super soaker. <laughs> right in the mouth. Right, right between her eyes. Oh my god. 